All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make something that looks like this. Let's go ahead and get started. In your period folder, you will find a folder called Godzilla Attack. Go ahead and right click on that and choose copy. Then go to your own folder and right click and choose paste. That'll drop the folder in there. Open up that folder and you'll see three images. I want you to select them all and then just double click on one of them. And then all three of them will open up in Photoshop if you're doing this through Bridge. So. Here we are in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with our building as our background, obviously. So we need to get Godzilla in there. So let's switch to that one. We'll grab our move tool, click and drag it up and drop him in there. First thing we want to do is flip him so he's facing the other way. That's real simple. We'll do a little control T, then just right click and choose flip horizontal and that will flip him around. Press enter and then let's kind of get him more or less where we want him ballpark. And now let's remove this white background. We'll grab our quick selection tool press the select subject button wait for it to once it's done that we'll press select and mask will come in here change your view mode to on layers if you haven't done so yet and let's take a quick look and zoom in there's a few spots we're gonna need to fix so I can see a spot right there in his mouth that it didn't get I'll grab the brush tool hold down alt remember holding down alt when painting with the brush will make things disappear it's like painting with black when you're layer masking and then I'm gonna zoom in here stay zoomed in real close and I know there's a few spots down here like right here in the spines of his back that we need to fix and if you accidentally mess up like I just did there remember you let go of alt and that allows you to paint things back in so I'm gonna go around and just fix this up just a few more of these spots and get my edges looking good and we'll pick this back up after I've done okay I've got rid of some of the major rough spots now I just want to get rid of this white fringe that's left around the edge remember Photoshop can do that for us pretty easily I'm going to start over here with my feather slider. I'm going to raise this up. I just want to watch that white edge come out away from my subject. That looks great right there. That's what I want to see. So about 1.8 worked for me. I'm going to bring my contrast up and watch that white kind of get sucked back in until basically until I don't see much of a difference. So that was probably too far. I didn't need to go that far. Right around 55 works. And then I'll do just a little bit of shift edge to kind of finish it off. There you go. Anytime you can stay under minus 15 or minus 16 on your shift edge, you should be feeling pretty good. So that works pretty good for me. I'm going to go ahead and output to a layer mask and press OK. And so that gets us out here and we've got Godzilla looking pretty good. The problem is we want to hide his feet. We don't want to be able to see his feet because if we can, we can tell that he's not actually standing there because there's no shadows and no the ground would be cracked and all that stuff. So let's hide his feet behind this building behind him. Let me show you how to do that. What we're going to do is go back to our background layer and duplicate that bad boy by pressing Control J. That gives us two background layers. Let's move this one up on top of the other one. Click and drag it up and let go there. You'll know if you did it right because Godzilla will disappear. Your layers panel will look like this now. Now come back, grab that quick selection tool again. And let's make our brush nice and big because what we want to do is we want to select this big tall building. The majority of it at least really only the right only the right side we don't need to worry about the left side because we're not going to put godzilla over there so i'm going to make sure i got a good selection here on the building and don't even need to worry that's pretty solid right there missed a couple spots there we go and then i'm going to come down here and add to my selection i want to get this lower building too and then i'm just going to bring it across and let photoshop get some of those trees for me and then i'll come down here and get all this down here it doesn't really matter that we have that down there but it is going to help and then i do need to clean up this edge this edge right here is an important one so i'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller hold down the alt key and deselect that i want a nice clean line along the top of the building here and that's looking pretty good right there I'm feeling pretty good about that selection I'm gonna fix that little spot right there and oops the one last little spot there and there oops and there we go that gives me a pretty good selection of the building and let's just see what happens if I add a layer mask to this layer so here we go let's see and boom there you go basically what we did was let me turn these off we erased the sky and everything around this building in this top layer and that allows Godzilla to show up through here and the cool thing about doing it this way is that we can now move him around without having to do any additional layer masking except for the tail we're going to need to fix that so i'm going to put that maybe right about there and we'll turn this other background layer on to fill that in for me and now i'll just kind of zoom in and make sure things look good along the top of the building here if they didn't i could just click on this layer mask here and just come in and make some changes remember i'm actually layer masking out the background here what's behind here 
with this layer mask. This one doesn't have anything to do with Godzilla. He just happens to be showing up through this gigantic hole that we made in that top layer. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I do want to make his tail look like it's kind of blending into these trees down here a little bit. Let me move him down just a little bit so we get a little bit more there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on this layer right here, this layer mask. I'm going to grab my brush tool and I want to use a real soft edge so I'll make sure my hardness is at zero. And what I'm going to do is just kind of paint this in. All right, paint that tail back in, and then I'm going to switch it back to white. And I just kind of want to blend out the bottom of the tail and let it kind of just mix in with those trees right there. And we're not going to worry about making it look perfect because we don't need to. The, um, the viewer's not even really going to notice because they're going to be so distracted by how awesome the rest of this thing looks. They're not going to notice that his tail kind of doesn't, just kind of fades into those trees there. And you know what? We're going to be perfectly okay with that. There you go. That looks pretty good right there. And I'm pretty happy with that. His feet are behind the building. The tail's kind of blended in there. We're looking good. Let's go ahead and add the fire to this image. So go and grab this one. Switch to your move tool. Drag this over into the photograph. Drop this in. I do want this to be on the top, so make sure it's your very top layer. That way it'll be in front of the building. And I'll control T this and shrink this down. You can have that fire coming out of his mouth however you want. You could do it like this, or you could flip it and do it like that. doesn't really matter however you want to do it. I am going to show you a really quick and easy way to get rid of the black around there. Whenever you have an image where you've got some bright stuff and it's surrounded by pure black, you can actually fix that, get rid of the black, by just changing the layer blend mode. That's this dude right here. And lighten or screen will keep things that are bright and will get rid of things that are dark. Watch this. See that? In just one click, I got rid of all the unwanted parts of the, the photo that I didn't need. I could try screen. I actually like light a little bit better. Oh, actually, screen looks pretty good. Either one really is going to be fine. And uh, I like the looks of that right there. So now we got a nice fire coming out of him. And then there's one last thing we can do to make this thing look a little bit more awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to mash all these layers together into one new layer at the very top. The keyboard shortcut for that is a little complex. It's Control Shift Alt E. So Control Shift Alt E. And you can see that gave me a new layer at the top that is all these layers combined together. In fact, I can turn these off. You can see everything's still there because it's all on that layer. And then what we're going to do is go to Filter and do a little Camera Raw Filter. And that's going to pop this thing up. And all I want you to do is come down here and take your clarity slider and drag this all the way over. And you can see that gives us a little bit of a grungy effect that we didn't have uh, from before. And then we can just go ahead and press OK. And we're done. Let's save this up as a PSD and as a JPEG. And uh, you're good to go.